Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is your narrator, Chief Engineer Ravi Gupta. Today, we're going to talk about history and evolution of the Marpol 7378. In today's video, we'll see what are the history which causes the development of Marpol. What are the major accidents in the history which causes the amendment in the Marpol? And after that, we will see that what are the sources of oil pollution in Annex 1 and what are the chapters of Annex 1. So this is the part 2 of the Marpol series. If you want to want the part 1, I will share the link in the description box. Friends, Marine Engineering Hub is a platform which makes video like this, which will be beneficial for your examination purpose and also for your ship reader service. So please do subscribe. When you subscribe, it provides us the encouragement to make the video like this always. Friends, if you want to clear the exam swiftly and more fastly, then please join our membership. You will watch able to watch the video which are yet to be released and you'll watch exclusive parts. Friends, let's start the today video. So, what are the things which led to the development of Mark? The first thing is the Tory Canon. If anybody asks you why the Marpole came, you should talk about Tory Cannon. The Tory Cannon is the thing which led to the development of Marpole, which came in 1973. What happened that a ship named Tory Cannon causing a oil spill because of the grounding in the Spain and Portugal coastline, which was very bad and very massive in nature, as you can see. This is the sea impairness, like that the oil spill occurred. And after that what happened, the cleanup cost was too much. Because of that, the IMF came up with the Marpole 1973. While the Marpole 1973 was yet to be adopted, in between Argo merchant named ship again causes the oil spill, which led to the rapid revision of the Marpole 70. An addition of serrated balash expanded and productive located, and IGS was implemented, and Marpo was adopted in 1978, which certain exemption. After that, in 1989, when the Marpo was adopted in 1983, Annex 1 and Annex 2 was a part, and Annex 5 was a part. At that time, what happened? Exxon Valdez accident took place. What was Exxon Valdez? Exxon Valdez causes a pollution in the US water because of which the OPA 90 came, Oil Pollution Act came, and US banned the use of a single hull tank. So, this Exxon Valdez was the single hull tanker ship which causes a pollution in the US water which led to the development of OPA 90 and US banned the single hull tanker in their coastline and led to the double hull configuration. So, in 1992, Marpol came up with the division of double hull. While the double hull was enforced, in between Erika and Prestige took place, which accelerated the single hull phasing out and double hull implementation. So, as you can see, if Anybody asks you what are the history of the Marpole? So you should know three names: Tory Cannon, second in Exxon Valdez, and third is Prestige or Erika. So these are the things which have led to the development of this Marpole amendment and evolution. So as you can see in this picture, this is a double hull tanker cross section. This is a main frame, this is the outer frame. In between this area is the double hull. So if this hull got ruptured event, it will not able to reach the inner main frame and hence the oil pollution will be prevented. So if the outer hull is getting ruptured, in that case only water will come out because in between the double hull, the water is kept which is acting as a segregated ballast tank. So as there is a distance as you can see 
there is a distance between these two there is a distance in between these two okay because of this what will happen even if this puncture what will happen the inner content the oil product will be still be safe okay so now let's do, go to the other side so somebody if asks you okay you are telling about the history you are telling about the evolution so what are the source of pollution in the annex one so basically the source of pollution in the annex one can be divided in three types tanker cargo swap tank oil residue slush tank and bilge water holding tank in tanker cargo swap tank what is happening all the sludge which are generated during the cleaning of cargo hold means when after the cargo is discharged the sludge which are adhered to the cargo tank are cleaned and collected in a tank which is called cargo slop tank cargo area sir and in the oil residue sludge tank all the engine room sludge which are generated because of leakage or desludging of the fuel or purifier lube or purifier or carrying out the maintenance like cleaning of lube oil filter okay like like that if it is generated that is collected in a oily residue such tank moreover if you have a gland packing or if there is a leakage in the water pipeline or if there is a flange gasket leakage in that case the water may accumulate that is collected in a bilge holding tank so whenever we are designing a seat our main aim what is the main aim the main aim is that we should able to design a seat in such a way that it will minimize the oil discharge we are also designing a seat in such a way so that we will able to provide proper treatment to the bridge water by OWS we are in OWS what we are doing we are treating the bilge water which are generated on board before sending it to the sea by passing it to the oil filtering equipment which sees that the water which is been thrown overboard are less than 15 ppm content of oily stresses after that if you broadly classify the waste of the sources of the oil pollution we can classify in two part first and second part first part is the engine waste which is basically oil which we are treating with the oil water separator oil content meter and we are sending it to the port reception facility and second is the cargo tank which we are treating with the oil discharge monitoring equipment odme or we are also sending to the sole reception facility after we are giving to pool reception facility or we are treating with the ODME or OWS we have to record we have to maintain all the record in a oil recall book part 1 or part 2 which will clearly indicate how we are handling and how we are transferring the this sludge which are generated on board after that let's see what are the chapter of annex 1 so the annex 1 can be broadly classified in 9 chapters the first is a general the second is a survey and certification which talks about how the survey will carry out how certification will happen and the third is the what is the requirement of machinery space which talks about the 14 15 cargo area requirement talks about slop tank reception facility after that how the pollution can be prevented during the transfer of oil cargo between the sea so this is the STS operation they are talking about. So, these are the mainly chapters which are covered in Annex 1. We will be covering the Annex 1 in our upcoming video. So, please remain tuned. If you want to watch the part 1, please find the link in the description. So, friends, in today's video, we have learned what are the sources of oil pollution, what are the chapters in Annex 1, what is the history of Marpol, and what evolution causes led to the development and if you want to learn more please do subscribe and please do join our channel friends if you find you have learned something please do subscribe